Hi guys and welcome back to the fourth tutorial on how to create a free website using Weebly.com. In the last tutorial we were working on personalizing and making the website look more like our own and we've added a banner and we've been playing around with text and spaces. This text isn't visible enough so I want to increase the size of that so I'm going to select it like that and then click on this to increase the size obviously that's now going over the background a little bit so I want to move that over so I'm going to select the align left and bring it over to there and click away and have a look to see whether that's easier to see I think because there's quite a lot of objects in the background image here I think that's not very easy to see so I want to move that down so I'm going to move up to the spacer here hover over the bottom and pull that spacer down and keep pulling that down I'm going to sit that about there so I think we're getting somewhere with that we can also edit the background image within Weebly to a certain extent so if we click on that background image go to edit background and then click on edit this window will appear and if we have a look down here you'll see we can zoom in using that tab we can add some blur we can darken and we can also add filters now I want to play around with the background image and actually make it a bit lighter so that perhaps the text is a bit more visible so I'm going to go to this filter tab here click on it and click on lighten now I'm going to save that and see how it looks so now I think that that's very easy to see and easy to read the options to edit and adjust this background image within Weebly are fairly limited but there are ways around this I would recommend that you play around with your background banner image in Photoshop first and get it exactly how you want it and then you can upload that edited image into Weebly and then just use the basic editing functions within Weebly from then on. So a combination of photoshopping and using the Weebly available edit adjustments. Okay, so we will come back to editing our banner and text. Next up, let's have a look at the pages tab. So if we come up over here, at the moment we're in build, let's move over and start to dig in and have a look at how the pages work. So we'll click on there and you'll see when you click on that button the pages appear over here we have a home about us work journal contact so this has been set up for us within the template that's already been constructed we can start to play around with these so at the moment if we hover over the home page which is this this is our home page you'll see the cursor changes we can move these pages up and down I would suggest keeping the home page at the top. We also have the about us, work, journal or contact. We can remove these if we wish. We can click on that. And then when we click on it, the page will show here. Let's say we don't need that. Let's get rid of that. Click on delete, click delete again, and then it's removed. We also at this point can remove this page. So once again, click on it. Let's delete that click that and remove that and bear in mind our home page updates as we're doing this so if I click back onto the home page we now have the three pages our contact and journal okay so let's swap those back around again if we want to edit our pages so we click on it let's say we want to change that name we can highlight that change that to a different name if we wish when we're happy click on that tab to go back again we can also add pages so you see at the top here there's a plus sign click on that plus sign we just want to add let's say a standard page so let's click on that so there is where we can type in our page name when we're happy click on done and there's our new page thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial